Today we're going to go over the right way to check your mileage on your Honda Element. So step one is to fill the tank. Step two is to go to your trip odometer and reset it to zero. Then you just drive like you normally would. Now I'll go ahead and tell you that a Honda Element doesn't get incredibly great gas mileage, but there are things you can do to make it uh, perform a little better and we'll go over a few of those. back at the gas pump and we have gone 240 miles so we put 10.43 gallons in it and on those 10.43 gallons we went 240 miles 0.1 so we enter that into a calculator That's how you figure up your fuel mileage. It's not tricky. It's what, third grade math, fourth grade math? I don't know, it's been a while since I've been in the fourth grade. I don't remember what we were trying to learn then. That's not terrible fuel mileage, but it's not great either. Things that you can do on your Honda Element to improve that number are get rid of your roof rack. That causes wind resistance and drag. Um, of course, the Element is famously shaped like a brick anyway, quick as a brick so it's not gonna have great aerodynamics. Other things you can do, drive by your tachometer instead of your speedometer. If you'll keep your Honda Element cruise control set where your tachometer is about 3,000 RPM, your mileage will go way up. You'll do a lot better. Run without the air conditioner on. If you're running the air conditioner compressor, you're gonna use more power. You're gonna use more fuel. And if your tire pressure's all wonky, that's also going to affect things. So drive slow, maintain your tires, and if you really want to, if you can stand it, turn the air conditioner off and get rid of all that junk hanging on your element, and your mileage will go up a little bit. The best I've ever been able to get was about 26, 27 miles per gallon. So if that matters to you, those are the things you can try. Mm-hmm. 